Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at how to make any sample fit your musical project, whatever it is that you're making. So let's dive right in right now. So the reason I'm making this video today is because I've been using samples a little bit more um, to try and mix genres and I'll show you exactly what I mean uh, with this little example here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight a section of the song um, and I'm just going to play it for you and just have a listen. Now let me just show you what I've got going on here. So we've got bass. So originally I had this going on by itself, sort of just a rock track in drop D. Head into the verse, but I, th I, 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 I like rap music and metal, and I also really like country, so I wanted to mix the two. Now, as you can see here, you can see that this sample says that it's 70 beat pm. Um, how I made that fit this particular track, I'm going to show you now because if you actually have a look, it's a 100 bpm song as a 70 bpm sample. So, what we do is I don't know whether you'll be able to see the folder pop up on the screen with this screen recorder but I'm going to drag in the sample that I used um, so this is so this sample that is here now is actually um, I believe this sample here um, but if you notice it's a different length to this um, and if I play it back It's far too slow for this particular project. Um, so all you do, it's quite simple, is you right click on the track. Um, and then we're gonna come down here to tempo, there it is. Um, and then you've got apply tempo to project tempo or apply project tempo to region and downbeat. Now, usually for drums, um, you would use that one but I found that this particular sample worked better when I did it on the downbeat so if I just hit that you'll see what happens it's changed the length and it's actually put it on the downbeat of each block so it's actually pulled everything in time so let's have a listen now And then all of a sudden that then fit in with the rest of the song. So when I take that, let me just uh, mute that for a second. When I play the intro to make it sound as though it's going to be like a country song, this is what it sounded like. And it was as simple as that. So basically i did the same again with two other so i've got another one in g um i've got another one now i just happen to have samples that were in the key of g if they weren't in the key of g um then there is a way of getting around that and i just want to show you actually an idea initially um this sample i was thinking i might make it higher pitch in pitch and all i basically did was i took the root note of the song and I just moved, I just highlighted all of the sample and then dragged it up to a higher pitch. That's just another way that you can obviously alter your um, samples to fit whatever project that you're using. Um, another way of doing that would be to come over here and click on the transpose button um, and actually sort of transpose it up by one, two, three semitones, whatever it might be, and just keep shifting it up and down until you find that sweet spot. Um, but in terms of tempo, 
really really simple and um, just literally right click also if you want to as a little bonus tip um, sorry I keep looking up here but that's obviously where my screen is um, if you have um, played the bass and like I have here um, I've played it with a pick actually so just have a listen I believe exactly the same thing would happen if I went here and I went to tempo and I I, I put um, we did the same thing. I'm pretty sure it would sync it in time. So as you can see now, it's more in time. Um, so it's it, it basically it's done um, a bit of a quantize um, to the entire thing. Um, you can also go into flex pitch um, and correct your notes and also correct the timing and quantize in here. Um, so you can actually, if you wanted to, just highlight a few of these, hit Q to quantize and then all of a sudden you've got a more quantized version of your track it's already played pretty well in time so there you go guys a really really simple video today um, but a very helpful one if you're new to using samples uh, make any sample fit any particular song just using those really simple tools that are already available in every door um, so get on it and um, give it a go let me know how you get on in the comment section um, if you're more experienced with samples and want to share any tips to people in the comment section feel free um, I'm not an expert in using samples it's not something I do a lot of um, I generally tend to play um, most things um, that I record um, but yeah give it a go if you like it um, and let me know how you get on. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with more. Thank you.